Hi, this is Mr. Biter, and in this tutorial you'll learn how to put a Linux distribution on a USB flash drive. The first part of this involves actually getting a USB flash drive and making sure it's ready um, to have something put onto it. So first, make sure you have at least a 2 gigabit uh, USB flash drive, but the bigger the better, and put it in the USB port near your computer. and you'll see if you have, you're running Windows an little icon saying that you have a USB flash drive in place to make sure that it's formatted we're going to go over to our computer and I already have something on here in this drive and it'll come up here we can right click on it and what you want to do is go to format and it should just look just like this pretty much um, the size of it may be different um, and you just want to do a quick format and click start um, I don't want to release this one so I'm not going to do that right now but you should do that now after you have this <clears throat> USB drive ready the next thing we need to do is go onto the internet and we want to go to this website here http colon backslash backslash unetbootin.sourceforge.net and when you get there you're going to see these three options at the top and you want to choose whichever one you are currently using on your computer for most of us it'll be Windows some of you it might be for your Mac. You cannot run this on anything like a iPad or a Android device or your phone. This is only for computers. So I want to show you how to do this for Windows. I'm going to go to download and from here it'll go ahead and you'll probably see this on the bottom. I'll say do you want to run or save? Right? and you're going to want to go ahead and save it as and you want to choose some place to save it. It'll go to your default folder uh, mine is to my downloads, yours probably is too but you can choose to save it to your, uh, your desktop as well uh, so you know where it is. Um, so just make sure you know where it is and then you can click save. I've already done this so I'm not going to click save right now and once you have this downloaded, you need to go to that folder that you just put it into. So for me, I'm now going to go open my folders. I have mine in my downloads. And you are going to look for an icon that looks like this right here. So you're going to find that that you just downloaded. And you're going to double click on it. You'll see this. You're going to click Run if it comes up. And here's the main screen for the uh, UNet boot in. And we're going to make sure it's clicked on Distribution. And we're going to choose Fedora for our distribution of Linux. And 19 Live, that's you know, the newest version. And go ahead and check down here. Um, you'll see a USB drive. Um, it'll go to whatever the, the default one it's in. Um, everything else should be all set. Um, all you should have to do here is just click OK and it'll start loading it onto the drive. I have one that is preloaded, so I'm not going to do that right now. But it should go straight through. And that is how to get that version of Linux onto your flash drive. Next we're going to look at how to actually load that flash drive to run its operating system in the BIOS of the computer when it turns on. The next thing we need to do is boot the BIOS on the computer. To do this you need to go onto the internet and look up how to do it for each 
of your computers. Most computers it's the F1 or F2 key and you just continually press it after turning on your computer. So for the Sony Vio that I have I just turn it on press F2 over and over again and then the bio screen comes up. Now the bio screen will have several options. You just use your keypad, uh, the arrows, uh, to move back and forth across the screen and the enter to uh, select what you want. We want to go over to where it says boot and in here um, we want to choose to boot an external device first. All right, there's other ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is to boot that one first. Um, that way, you don't have to worry about it. if it's not in there, it's not going to boot. You just keep it unplugged. Um, you want to keep the optical disc as your second boot priority in case you need to put in a rescue disc. Um, save the computer and the hard disk drive is last. Because um, you don't want to boot your hard drive first um, in case it gets compromised. So we're going to keep external device first, and it's different for different BIOSes, but the commands for mine are over here in the corner. And I used the plus or minus to change uh, my settings, so I got the external device to boot first. And so right now I'm going to go ahead and plug in my external device. And let's see if this is going to go ahead and, uh, and boot up. Yep, and it comes up to this screen, and I want to go ahead and select Start Fedora Live. Use the arrow key to go down and press Enter. And it's loading. And hopefully you'll see this exact same screen um, when you load up yours. And once this finishes loading, you can see some other great features. When you get to this screen, uh, your mouse should already be loaded. Um, you're not going to do this. You don't want to install it to your hard drive. That would be bad. You might delete your current operating system. You want to go over and just go to Try Fedora. And there you are. You have your operating system. Just click close here and you can go up here and you can see up here you have a whole bunch of different applications you can use mainly Firefox internet browser if you want to connect it to your Wi-Fi you go up over here and you can click um, the Wi-Fi that you want access to and you can put it in your key ID and you have an operating system that you can use to get on the internet you can use it for writing documents and just about everything else, all from your thumb drive. And this concludes the tutorial.